Nice cut. Okay, let's see how these let's are going. See if it fits. That's a lovely looking mitre. And that is going to work so well for what we're doing here today. We are showcasing the most gorgeous thing. This is one of my favourite things, the Edison bulb. This has been like a revelation in home decor and lighting. It's become huge over the last few years where you have this really cool industrial kind of lighting but it's also a very ambient look, you know, it's not as harsh as a fluoro or anything like that. There's so many different ways you can showcase a bulb like this but today we've got a really cool idea where we're actually creating a box frame for our Edison bulb. So it's going to look amazing and Anthony's just in the process of mitering the pieces of timber that we need to actually create the box. So do you want to run through how we're going to put it together? Yeah, well look, as, as you just pointed out, we've, we've cut three pieces, we've got another, another piece to cut. Uh, we, we went for a size that we thought would work with the globe. Um, great. Set it up on our saw, we've cut our mitres. So these, these cuts here, rather than cut a straight cut, these are called a mitre. And when they're put together like that, they make a really nice right angle. And it just looks, prof yeah, it's professional. It looks so like, it does look like you know what you're doing. Speaking of knowing what you're doing, you knew what you were doing on that particular piece of yep. equipment there. And you know what, once you know how to use one of these, you won't go back. And you know, it might be scary looking, right? But that is, uh, using a machine like this is the best way to get the cleanest mitre cut. Absolutely. We used to put, uh, and still do, put our first year apprentices on these. They might look a bit daunting, but they're not. But I'll show you right. exactly how easy it is. Earphones on. Earmuffs. Now, we've got a cut here at 350. So I'll put a little mark there. Get this into position. So that's our first cut. Now from here on, if I want to make all the cuts identical, so I've got all cuts at 350, it's really easy to do. You push the cut up against the blade like that. There's a little slider along here. So what you do is just engage that, bring that up into position, push that up just so it's kissing the timber there. Tighten it here. Then from here, we can just push our timber into position. You can see they are millimetre perfect. Now you're going to get this every single time that you do this on the saw. It doesn't matter if you're cutting mitres like this or if you're cutting straight pieces. It just saves a whole heap of time. All right, so we only need one of these. So yep. Now. Pop him under there. Yep, OK, now we can put this together. All right, so it's starting to look like a, a real box now. It's a nice real box. It is. So great. Um, this table's a bit rickety. <laughs> Really? A <laughs> little bit to set this up. We yeah. need to do a little bit more prep and get we this do. ready to put together. Well, and putting it together, we're going to use some wood glue, yep. some nails and some clamps. So we need to get all it. of our area prepped and everything ready to go. Let's do it. Nice. So now, you can just work it into that corner. And we'll get a couple of clamps on it. That's looking good. Looks like, great. They, but yep, it's all in the preparation. And look, what we've done, just to make things a little bit easier, we've just set up a couple of pieces of timber here with some clamps. All that means is that we can put our box into position and we don't have to try and hold it with all these sets of hands. It's going to do it for us. It's like a nice cosy little cubby hole for it to sit in. You know you're going to get it the perfect angle. That's Love it. that. So from here, yes. what we're going to do is we've got some little nails here and they'll be just basically going through on the corners yep. to attach them along with some glue. But before we do anything, we want to get our nail to go right in the middle there. So I'm just going to put a mark through there. Yep. Then basically what you do is just grab a square and you just line it up on the edge there. Oh, that's a clever and idea. And all you're going to do is just put a little mark here, here and here. You're going to keep them nice and straight. Dress the nails. So that's what we call it. Dress the, the nails. That's it. Let's grab our hammer there. Got it. Beauty. All yours. All right, and we've got our nails. So we can just go through and we're just going to get them started. It's so much easier to work on the horizontal. Okay, so now some glue. Just a little Even bit glue. like, yep. It seals the deal and it strengthens. It seals the deal. It seals the deal. I like that. Now we can just position. What we're looking for, Leah, is that we're flush here. Yeah and that angle's looking really good. All right, so we're locked into position. One down the bottom there, same thing. 
So same on this side. All right. Now that we've got our three sides together, we can actually lose this jig okay. here. We can repeat the process and then we've got a box. Let's so declamp. Done. Yeah, we'll just give it a little light sand. I reckon that's got it. Looks awesome. Perfect little box. It is a good one. All, All right. right. Like now like. the globe. All right, well, this is one of the reasons why, you know, we decided to assemble it before we actually put the globe in, and that is, or drill the hole for the globe, so you can actually see how the globe is going to be placed inside. I mean, you could do it in a number of ways. You could go that way, you could go that way, a little bit off-centre. You could have it hanging down, but we kind of like the idea of it coming out the side. I like it. Basically, because it's such a beautiful big globe. That's the hero of the piece. All right, Anthony, so you want to do the honours of yes, putting the hole Yes, yes. Now, so, Leah, over there we've got our drill and we've got the, the loom part as well. And I'll show you what we've come up with. All right, so, what we want to do here is we want to in order to get this through, we want to make sure that we've got the right size hole. So what I've done, guys, is I've grabbed a hole saw and I've basically just matched the hole saw just so it'll be a touch bigger than the actual thread part on, on the loom itself. Righto, so what we're going to do here, we'll just flip it up on this side. OK, yep, beauty. 300, so you'd be going 15. Yep. So with the hole saw, what we're going to do is we're just going to take it easy and drill slowly. I'll give you a hand here. Yep, great one. Yep. Lock it down. Lock it down. Yeah, because these can oh. be a little bit tricky when they're actually trying to find purchase on the timber. Okay. Nearly there. You're cracking through. There you go. Oop, there we go. Oh, lovely. Nice. So, from here, we grab our loom. Oh, oh how good is it's that? It's built for okay. us. This one screws on here. And that's going to lock that into position. Oh, good work, Ed. Nice. And then all we have to do... Screw the light in. Looking good. What a beautiful globe. What a beautiful frame for the globe. What a beautiful piece. That looks so effective. It's it looks cool. so cool. Should we turn it on? I reckon we need to. All right. All right, I want to clean up some of this stuff. Thing. Yes, please. There's stuff everywhere. All right, switching it in. OK, are you ready for the moment of truth? I am right. ready. Right. Let it rip. Oh, ambiance at its best. That is cool. I love this because it's a really cool lighting piece. Yep. It's a feature. It's really quite simple to make. It looks amazing and it would give that really nice soft lighting in a room. It just sets the scene. Nice work, buddy. Nice. You know what? This is what I call a good light bulb moment.